guys. Hi guys. So for today's video, myself and Fanta yeah. are going to talk about our worst date experience. Do, do, do. Yeah. So I'm going to start off first and talk about my worst date. When I think about it, I don't know why I gave this guy a second chance. Okay, so the first day, decides me up in a bar, we set the time and the location, and um, yeah, that was it. I got to the venue first, and he was late by about, I don't know, about 10 to 15 minutes, which I, to me, is a very long time to be alone waiting on someone to turn up. No text, no nothing? No, no. none of that. He didn't even give me the courtesy of letting me know he was running late or behind schedule. Rude. Exactly. So he eventually does turn up, and he rocks up with a backpack on his bag, some trainers, holding like a bunch of electronics, like an iPad, a laptop, and the charger. He just looked a mess. He just seemed all over the place. I was did thinking... He, did he know he had a date? I don't even know, Fanta. He, he clearly didn't dress for one at all. And I just figured, if you've got a backpack, why don't even put all of the electronics inside of your bag? Why hold on to them and just look so like messy all over the place? besides the point. So I gave him some time to put himself together, which he did do. Then we ordered our drinks and started talking. Conversation was A-OK. -okay. So we were talking and then midway he takes out a cigarette. I don't even know he smokes because I personally don't like to date people that smoke because I don't smoke. When I realized that I just thought, oh great. He takes out a cigarette and um, I'm thinking, what is what are his intentions? And then I asked him, oh, like, do you want like to go smoke? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh no, but I think you should wait till after the date before you, you know, you go and smoke. And he was like, oh, but you know, like I need it now. He's <laughs> like, oh, but like I need it now, like, sort of thing. Like I, I just, you know, I, I need a fix. Well, sort then of I was like, no. Oh like, my god. You can wait till after the date to go smoke. I think it's rude to go and smoke midway to leave me sitting here by myself. You said once that. You step yeah, I did. He yeah. must have been thinking, what a bitch. I don't really care, to be honest. I just think, if you want a date with someone, at least like stick it out. I think you can go on a date for an hour or two and not smoke. It's not that difficult. I don't know. So either way, he didn't listen to me. He stepped out to go have his ciggy, should I say, which was just like, you know, a big fat no already for me. They so came back, we carried on the date as normal. And then obviously the bill came and I offered to pay and he willingly let me, you know, pay as well, which is fair enough. And then he said, okay, you know, next day I'll cover the bill. Let's go half in this one, next day I'll cover the bill. I thought, okay, fine, whatever. So um, that was the first date done. We agreed on a second day. Like I said, I don't know why I agreed to the second date with him. Second day, he decided to choose the location, which was good for me because the first day I chose it and I don't understand why, you know, you can pick somewhere out. So I was glad that for the second time round, he chose the venue. I met up with him in, let's say, Leicester Square. And again, he was late coming up. And why was he late this time round? Because he had to go to the loo. So on the way, coming to meet me, he needed to basically <laughs> pee. And so he had to How divert. How do you know he wanted to pee that's what, that's what he, well, actually, I don't because, know. Because like, why does, peeing is not gonna slow you down that much. Well, it's, it clearly it slowed him down. Okay. His timekeeping was just poor. He does eventually turn up, and then I thought the restaurant was in Leicester Square because if we're meeting up in Leicester Square, it would make sense. Like, it would just make sense for us to meet where, you know, where near where the restaurant was. But no, the restaurant was not in Leicester Square, so we had to go on the tube to go um, a couple of stops, you know, on one of the lines to get to the restaurant. Then we walk out of the tube station and find out he doesn't know his way to the restaurant. This is a <sighs> restaurant he has been to several times, so I would expect him to know that. If you're going to choose it for a date, at least, like, just know where it is, what the location, it would help. But he didn't, so he had to take his Google Maps out. So we did a bit of wandering around, got a bit lost, but eventually we found the venue. And then we get there to make matters even worse. There was a long queue outside of the restaurant. And so clearly it would have made sense if he made a booking, but did he make a booking? No, he didn't. No. He didn't. Oh, that so is a we were, error. I know. Yeah. So we were looking about an hour, over an hour's wait to get into a restaurant to eat. So the best thing to do was to just find another restaurant. So we decided to do that. And in the midst of trying to find a new restaurant to go to, he then found out that he had lost his car keys. Like, just great, you know? <laughs> this is just what I need, you know? <laughs> so he found out he lost his car keys. I need. <laughs> no, I know, this is what I need, like, to happen on this day, like. He loses his car keys. He figured he probably lost it somewhere in, in Leicester Square. So his 
bright idea was to head back to Leicester Square and try and look for it and if we didn't find it then go to his friend who had the second set of keys to his car. We hopped back again onto the tube and when we were about to go onto the tube I don't know what this guy was doing whether he was just stood still like staring into, <laughs> into the scene and I, was, I don't know what he was doing but I get onto the tube and he somehow doesn't and he stands there and watches the door close in with me on the other side and at this moment in time, I just thought to myself, this is my this is my moment to get away. I could really get away yeah. after ever seeing him again. <clears throat> I would have just been like, bye. But my, you know, good conscience. I was like, okay, get off at the next station. And then I met him there. He was apologizing about the fiasco of a day that it was. He asked me if I wanted to head back to his place. And I thought, no, like, no, I don't want to head back to your house with you. Are you crazy? Like, are you freaking crazy? So we said our goodbyes and he said, you know, let's reschedule for another day. And I thought, yeah, sure, we can do that. Of course, I knew I wasn't going to see him again, but he didn't know that just yet. That's one of my worst day scenarios. I can think of another one to tell you, but I'm just going to let Penta tell you about her experience. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would have just left. I would have just been like, bye. <laughs> when, the, when the doors closed. I wanted to. Zigmi, I wanted to, honestly. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so I went on a date with this guy one time and, mm -hmm. like, um, I met him somewhere. Um, you like you're somewhere. Somewhere where? like somewhere okay okay and um basically so we were talking yeah. and like when we were like arranging to go out mm -hmm. on this day i yeah. was like okay cool so where do you want to go okay and he was kind of like he doesn't really know i was like okay cool so where do you want to go yeah what do you want to do do you want to grab a drink yes. like grab some food blah 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 it was like not the end of the month yet it was like mid-month right so he okay. was kind of like oh nothing too fancy because you know, like i haven't been paid yet <laughs> Ridiculous. So like, I see why this combo is going already, but you carry on. So like, when he said that, I was just a bit like, that was like a strike one, just because like, <laughs> like I don't like I, when you're trying to like, like pursue someone, yeah. Like, there's some things I feel like you just don't really say, no. even if it's an issue. No. And one of the things is like oh um i haven't been paid yet like i don't really need to know if you've been paid or i know, like, you know? it's mid, mid month no like, one's been paid yet no one's been paid yet i haven't been paid yet like, like ridiculous but really? he said that so that was a bit of a strike one so anyway so i was like okay cool enough like you know i'm not trying to go like anywhere crazy like yeah. anything like that i was just like do you want to get a drink that's like mm -hmm. five pounds or something like that or mm -hmm. do you even want to go like starbucks or something and yeah. then he was like oh no 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 <laughs> Um, why don't we just meet at the Barbican Centre? Okay. So I'm like thinking, okay, what's so in the Barbican, what's in the Barbican Centre? Like... Do you want to go watch a show or something oh, okay. like that? Right. I'm like, okay, cool, oh, yeah. Yes. And then he was okay. like, no, no, there's like some like sofas and chairs there. <laughs> Let's just go and chill at the Barbican Centre. So me. I was okay, cool, like we'll go to the Barbican Centre, whatever. Okay. In my head, I'm thinking, oh, like I'm just going to the Barbican Centre, <laughs> like there's okay. nothing there. So I get there now. The Barbican Centre, like for those who don't know, is just basically like a community centre, mm -hmm. in like a grand community centre. Mm -hmm. Some people like revising, like study, chilling, like yeah. whatever. So it's like a meetup. So we went to the Barbican Centre now and he's like, do you want anything to drink? So I'm thinking, well, boy, oh, there's okay. no, no, I'm thinking there's no bar here. So like, oh. what are we drinking? All I see is like some water dispenser. No, so he's kind of me. like, oh, I'm just going to have water. But there's like no. this coffee place. So I'm oh thinking, gosh. should I get like a latte or is that like pushing the boundaries? <laughs> a latte pushing the boundaries? Because the latte is free 20 You're not asking water. for a freaking lobster here. Yeah, but like the latte is free 20. <laughs> Basically, I had established that this was a free dr free day. Oh my like, goodness, this is going to be a can't. free day. Where did you find this guy? I don't know. This is going to be like a free day. So I was like, I'll have a latte. So obviously, when I said that, like I looked at his face and it was he wasn't like that happy that I said, like, can I have a latte? Because he asked right now? Because, like, obviously, he'd have to pay for it and he was drinking water. So then. At that moment, you could have been like, you know what, it's fine. I can get this. Like, yeah, but I've like, got, I've got this. But then that's you don't you ask me for a drink. Yeah, that's and true. It's, like, you don't ask me for a drink. <laughs> Just so you. I know if you don't mean it, then like. Do you want to be? Do you want to be? You don't want to buy me a drink. Don't ask me for yeah. a drink. Yeah. So then, obviously, like. um we found like a couple chairs as you do in the Barbican <laughs> Centre. You find a spot like amongst the kids revising for their exams. Um, and this then, is very not date appropriate. And at then, all. like, what like do you know what? Like to be fair, like the conversation wasn't too bad, the banter wasn't okay. too bad. But then, like where like we hit strike two was like when he was like he came across really frugal, mm -hmm. and like he started talking about he would never take like 
an Uber and it was just bare random to me. So out of the thinnest of air. Out of the says, thinnest of air. I don't He says stuff Uber. like he doesn't believe in Uber. Like okay. he think it's like the worst, like a waste of money. Oh, okay. And he would never take it. Like he's so pro night bus. Okay. And I was like, what? No, like, I don't agree that. I was confused as to why we were talking as about this. a female, this. you can't and like, that night exactly, bus. Like, like, that's I, ridiculous. No. Exactly, I could never take the night bus because I, where, I, there's only one night bus that goes to my area. That was just like not appealing. So long story short. Yes. Um, they ended. We continued talking. Mm -hmm. He even asked to meet again and he suggested oh. going back to the Barbican Centre. Come on. And then like, Further down I the hope line, he said no. He suggested no. We actually went back. Oh, to the Do you know I didn't Gosh. know? How to, <laughs> I didn't know oh, how to shut it down. Why? I didn't know how to be. I didn't know oh, how to like be like to be stern with these guys. Oh. I didn't know how to shut it down because I just no. thought like it was gonna be like. No. I thought I didn't want. I didn't want to come across like a like a snob. Oh. But come on, like, no, that's not <laughs> being snob. No. I didn't want to come across snob. as like a snob. So then. No. When he asked me again to yeah. like meet up, I was Second like, or this is the time. third time oh, he third asked time. me to like meet okay. up. I was like, okay, cool. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? He was like, well, I think you should take me to TGI. And I'm like, this is like, this is where it was like strike free and out. Because you're asking me to take you to TGI when you didn't even want to take me to Starbucks. And then he was kind of like, yeah, you know, let's, I think you should take me out to TGI's. Like, I, I'm feeling for some, like, ribs and stuff. And I just thought this was, like, a joke or something like that. Like, this was, like, a joke. But he was being, like, really, really serious. And then that's when I just shut it down. You know, for me, I just even feel like TGI's is even kind of the, the place you go to won't be when you're I really like, comfortable with each other. No, not I, when you're trying to get, yeah. get to know each other. Like, when you're trying to woo someone, TGI's is not I really... I was like, the last time I went to TGI's like, you know, was when I was, like, day. the 16th birthday Exactly. Party. So I was, like, proper confused. I kind of could just preempt mm. how he was going to be like, further down the line, mm. i.e. cheapo. <laughs> not expecting uh, anything crazy but come on i, I mean he had a job so yeah he had two so. jobs <laughs> <laughs> that just like makes it even worse what the hell <laughs> <laughs> so money wasn't an issue it's incredible this can't come but, like, on yeah I yeah so basically um that was like a bad day oh gosh oh Wow, I don't even know what to say. My goodness, we clearly have had some ba like bad days from the sounds so. of it. Um, I don't know what you guys think. If you have any thoughts, like let us know. Have you had any bad days experiences at all? Like, make sure you comment below because I love, love, love to hear from you guys. And if you have any ideas on videos you want me and Fanta to shoot, make sure you let us know, and I'll drag her along again to shoot the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed listening to our worst dates experience. I'll see you guys later. Bye.